What's up crew? Today is vlog number three of the TRW vlog, how to start a t-shirt and decal business. And I am in downtown Chicago at the Taste of Chicago Festival right now. What's really cool about this is we're gonna do the vlog from Chicago today and I am gonna cover an awesome question that was asked in the comments about setup and design fees, if you should charge them, how much you should charge them, and how you can justify charging them for a setup and design fee. All right, so today's inspiration from the blog came from Tanya Jones's comment. And the comment was, good advice. I have all the equipment now, just need the customers. Looking forward to more of your great advice. I hear some of your prices and they seem really high. Have you had customers say so and how did they react to your design fees? I've been scared to add these on. Okay, Tanya, so when it comes to setup and design fees, here's the way I handled it. Now, I didn't handle it right off the start when I started my business, because the way that I looked at it is the designing side of it, I actually enjoyed doing that. So what I would always do is I would sit on the couch, I would be designing on my computer. I loved trying to figure out the different design softwares, and I liked being creative and creating the designs. And what happened is I would do it for free all the time, like a lot of you probably do now. So I never charged for setup and design fees, probably the first couple years of my business. And what happened when I did that is I never kind of implemented that into the business. The customers never knew about a setup and design fee. So once I did decide to start charging the setup and design fee, then they had a lot more of an issue with it because I had a much larger customer base at that time. So. I always try to tell people to think about it this way. Always treat your business like you're paying an employee to create the design for you. And I had never thought about this off the start. And then the longer I was in the business and the longer I was seeing how much time was involved in the setup and design fee part of it and creating the design, that's when I realized, man, I really have to charge for the setup and design fee. So here's the thing and here's the way I want you to think about it is imagine that you have your first employee. So all of us want to grow our business and hire our first and second and 10th employee down the road, correct? We all want a successful business where we have employees helping us as well. So once that employee is creating that design, I promise you that employee isn't going to say, you know what, I enjoy the design part of it. I'm just going to sit here on the couch at night when I'm off the clock and create the designs for the customers, right? They're going to want to get paid while they're creating those designs. So the thing is, is you need to make sure that you're implementing that custom design and setup fee off the start, okay? Because down the road, as your business gets bigger and, you're high, and you've hired an employee and you're paying that employee and that design might take an hour, hour and a half, even if it's 20 minutes to create the design, that's profits and margins that are cutting into your business profits, right? So if you're paying that employee $10 an hour and it takes them a half hour to create that design, that's five more dollars in cost that's going into creating that shirt or bulk of shirts. So here's the way I kind of transitioned into it. I actually started out to where all of my existing customers, I waived the setup and design fee for them the first couple times just to let them know, hey, we're gonna start charging the setup and design fee. It's a one-time setup and design fee. And as soon as you get that design created, you can get as many of those shirts as you want. So if it's a team order and they order 30 or 40 shirts or even a shirt a year or two down the road, they still already have that set up and design fee paid and they're good. Or if it's a school or organization or anything like that. Now, if it's someone that I want to hook up and I want to don't want to charge them the setup and design fee, I'll always create them an invoice that actually has the setup and design fee on the invoice, okay? So it'll say a $15 setup and design fee is waived. Or maybe it's a new customer. Hey, for your first order, we're gonna waive the setup and design fee, but put it on that order form and put it on the invoice. That way they can expect that setup and design fee on their next order. As long as you're consistent with your setup and design fees and at least put them on the invoice every single time so they know that that is an actual charge, then they're not gonna have as big of an issue with it. Now remember, when you have that employee, you're paying that employee, that's a lot of cost coming out of your pocket. So you always need to think about that. You wanna get paid right now, right? 
So because you want to get paid, you need to treat yourself like an employee that's getting paid and that's taking in and cutting into the margins of every single order that you have. And remind your customers, this is a unique item. You can't go get this at Walmart or Target or anywhere else because it's going to have your custom name. It's going to have your custom number. You're custom designing it. You're picking the colors. You're picking the glitter and the rhinestones and whatever you want make sure to let them know the value of this shirt because you're creating a completely custom shirt just for them, right? So make sure they know that. And when you charge that setup and design fee and you get used to it, they're never gonna blink an eye. So normally a setup and design fee, I'll kind of calculate about how long I think the design's gonna take. And then I'll, sometimes I won't charge a setup and design fee. So if I'm using maybe one of our live templates and I know it's gonna take me two minutes to do it, I'll say, you know what, this design doesn't have a setup and design fee. So if you pick one of these templates and these exact templates right here, and I'll give them 50 choices, there will waive the setup and design fee, there'll be no setup and design. However, if you need me to create a unique template or a unique design or your custom logo, then there's gonna be that setup and design fee. So please, 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 all of you guys out there, make sure to charge for the setup and design fee because it's going to help you as your business grows and you're paying an employee because it will cut into your margin so much if you have a designer on staff that you're paying 10, 15, 20 dollars an hour, who knows? It takes them an hour to create a design for a shirt and you sell the shirt for 30 bucks, you have shirt cost, material cost, everything else, guess what? Your business didn't make anything on that shirt, but that designer did, okay? So be careful, always price all of your items like you're paying an actual employee as well, which is you and you wanna get paid right so when it comes to the pricing side of it if it's something really quick quick that takes me two minutes i might not charge them a setup and design fee but when i look at the design if i say you know what this is a half hour design i'm going to charge at least 10 15 bucks setup and design fee i might charge 25 dollars 30 dollars depending on the complexity of the design and how long i think it's going to take myself for the designer so that's where you're going to figure out your pricing on things like that is knowing and once you get a feel for designs and knowing how long it takes you to create designs hey if it's a design that's going to take you two hours to create it charge them like it's going to take you two hours to create it if it's going to take you one minute hey maybe it's a free one hope this vlog helped you out today this is only vlog number three we got a lot coming appreciate it guys make sure to comment right below comment below let us know what you think of the new vlog and let us know what you want to see in future vlogs okay i get all of my ideas from your comments and i'm going to respond to one of your comments on a future vlog here so make sure to comment below right now please click that little thumbs up button for the like thumbs up for the like appreciate you guys you guys all have a wonderful day thanks for watching today's vlog Hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If you want to see yesterday's vlog, make sure to click right here. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss another one, subscribe right here. And if you want to check out our website for some amazing products, click right there. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.